I'm ready. Ready when you are. <laughs> okay. That was fun. I want to do it again. No. Hey, everybody. We are at West Clear Creek near Camp Verde, Arizona today. We took a hike into what they call the bullpen and the swimming hole. So we're gonna show you how we got here. Beautiful weather today. I think you're gonna like this. West Clear Creek, Camp Verde, Arizona. Let's take you to the bullpen swimming area. The bullpen swimming hole. Here we go. So someday when my ship comes in, I know just what we'll do. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. West Clear Creek Trail. Clear Creek Trail. We're gonna go that way. We're not gonna go all that way. We're looking for the swimming hole. What? No more bikes. What's, what's the fun in that? Oh, I lost you already. That's not good. Just get started and I lost Hemi. Hiking we will go. It's like 78, 79. So far, no clouds in the sky. Although the forecast is calling for thunder showers this afternoon. 
possible thunderstorms. There you go. It's a hobbit tree house. Beautiful down in here. This is the bear country, right? Uh, for, yeah. Oh. Okay. Possibly. I don't know. How would they survive in summer? Well, they would come down from the mountains in the, when the weather changes. She was asking me if there were bears. It's possible. Not likely, but possible. I can't b believe we brought Chewy on here. I know. I know. <laughs> what a trooper he was. <laughs> sure wanted to be with us, didn't he? Pretty that backdrop is. Oh yeah. This would be a good place to do filming. Yeah. Well, I ran the. I took the drone up this way. I don't know how far it came. Uh, you still have it? The drone? Yes. No, I left it in the jeep. I didn't plan to. Pretty pretty. So we're heading east. That direction is the 260 that goes up to Blue Ridge. And I guess you can hike this quite a ways. The West Clear Creek goes back for several miles. Trying to decide whether we're on the trail or not. Yep. One of those lizards that just ran on two legs. I didn't hear you. I said I just found one of those lizards that runs on two legs. Oh yeah. Oh right. Because I'm getting out of here. That may have been the trail we were on over there. That looks like part of it. Yeah, I think we missed part of it. Like the house part? Here? No, I think the trail is over that way. I don't think so. You don't think so? I think it's back the other way. What's ahead? Does it look like a trail ahead? No. No? No. Hmm, yeah. So where's that house? Up here, and when it flattens out. I do remember that. Oh, a giant ant. Well, we got lost for a minute, but now we're back on the trail. Yikes. Don't ask me how that happened. Hell if I know. But I see the house. There's the house. So somewhere we missed this trail and got off the off the beaten path. That's the old I think years and years ago this is was a ranch. The bullpen ranch. And 
This was like a, somebody lived in here, I guess. Yeah, kind of your fixer upper. <laughs> yeah. Not much room in there. Jeez. So the trail we want is this one. It goes south of here. How's your foot? The last time we were here, we went on that, kept going. We should have turned here and gone south. So I think this is the one that takes us to the swimming hole. I think it's called a fire ant because where he bit me feels like it's on fire. Oh, ouch. I can't wait to get in that water. I bet. If you think you can't get lost in Arizona, forget it. Try again. People think, ah, oh, it's desert. You can't get lost in the desert. Well, that's not true. All right, next stop is the swimming hole. I remember that thing. I don't know what that's for. Looks like a little bucket to get across the river with. That's weird. I hear voices. Beautiful. Oh yeah. There we go. There's the place to jump off. Well, straight ahead. I think we have to go across the, the little rock area here. That's the little place where people jump off there. I gotta watch where I'm stepping. Yeeks. We had a good storm last night. About what, 8.30, 8 o'clock? Yeah. yeah. About 8 o'clock last night. Thunderstorm. Oh yeah. Is that it? That's it. Yeah. I think there's probably more downstream over there too, but this, this was where we were before. And that's where people jumped off the cliff. I'm going to set my stuff up here somewhere and rest. <laughs> I felt like there was more. Thank you. More than me. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Can we put our stuff up right there? Looks like a good spot right there. I'll take that from the story. I didn't realize you got stuck with it. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's try to get a good shot of the swimming hole here. There you go. Now, I have no idea how deep it is out there. We've seen them jumping off there into the water. It's a lot cooler in here. Alright. I got my water shoes on. <laughs> Tammy's already in, so she said it's... How cold did you say it was? Ah, burr. Burr. It's, uh, yeah, about 65. It's on the too cold for me to swim in temperature. But you go ahead. Nipply cold. <laughs> Whoa, I'm gonna sit on the rock. Right here. Alright, right up. Hey go, you go ahead and just dive in there. We'll watch you. 
I'm not even sure how you get over there. I think it's a little bit of a dewy. Well, yeah, we'll go all the way around. But, uh, sure sounds pretty. Very relaxing to hear the water. It's our little campsite right there. <laughs> Oh, my you okay? Yeah, I almost fell. Don't fall. Okay, Tammy said she's going to jump off the rock. Here, she's getting ready. She's climbing the rock. She's going to jump off the rock at the bullpen. Just don't go too high. I'm ready. Ready when you are. <laughs> okay. That was fun. I want to do it again. No. I think that's enough. What? That's enough. You're braver than me. So how's the water? It was great. <laughs> you should join me. I should join you. You should join me. It feels wonderful. I don't believe her. My feet said otherwise. Tammy's decided to take a bath. She has some special soap though. What is this called? Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 Hemp Lavender Pure Castile Soap. Doesn't hurt the environment. It's safe for the environment. Made with organic oils. Actually, I've used it at the lake. It's pretty, it smells good. Kind of had, oh yeah, it has a lavender smell to it. Bugs will leave me alone going back. Oh yeah, smells really good. Yeah, the mosquitoes don't like that. That's a beautiful shot up there. 
That's looking way up to the cliff there of the ridge up there through the trees. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. I think we're about 3,500 feet here and that ridge up there is about 5,500 feet. Well, maybe not that. Maybe it's more like 5,000 feet. All right, I just looked it up on Gaia Maps. I have a app on my phone called Gaia. Uh -huh. And we are about, according to Gaia Maps, we are at 3,784 feet right here. Okay. And that mountain up there is called Black Mountain and it's about 5,200 feet. So that's 5,200 feet up there. About 1,500 feet, roughly. Just straight up. Now, funny though, because some maps, on some maps, you get on some maps, like Google Maps, and they don't call this the bullpen. They call it uh, uh, West Clear Creek. But here on this one, it says bullpen. And then that old house, they call it Bullpen Ranch. Uh, go figure. I tried to find out why they call it the Bullpen, and I think it just has to do with something in the past. That one time in the past, there was a cattle ranch down in here, and they kept cattle in that area there. Let them graze in that flat land area up there where the, the old house was. And it just earned a nickname, the Vulcan. Because it's hard to find any information on it, really, other than that. It's nice down, it's cool. It's cool down here. On the way back. Did you have fun? Had a Have fun jumping off the cliff? Had fun. <laughs> oh, man. Watch rocks. There's something over here I want to get a picture of. I don't know what this thing is. How pretty. This thing up here. This is kind of cool. I wonder what this is for. Danger, keep off. Hello. Trying to figure out what that's for. Crossing the river, I guess. Yeah. And then it says keep off. <laughs> Maybe for emergencies and stuff. Yep. In case they have to get across there. <laughs> must be another falls over there because uh -huh. I can hear it really loud. Too. You want to go look? No. That may have been where that trail led to that was back over there. Because we got sidetracked. We were over there somewhere. Right. Remember when we got kind of got sidetracked over there? This was the trail that we took three years ago. Trying to figure out how we got sidetracked. There is a fence though just on the other side of this road or whatever you want to call this. I think at one time years ago they had cattle back in here. So they probably. That's probably how they call it, the bullpen. 
Oh, here's where we got off. This is kind of where we got off. Yep. We went the wrong way. Went. We went right when we. Well, it didn't really look like a trail, did it? No. But it was. I think here's kind of where we got sidetracked. If I we went, we went that way. Because that looks like a trail. Because that looks like a trail. Uh, hey, you guys tell me. <laughs> Which way would you go? That looks like the better trail. But that's the way you want to go. Go that way. Up the rocks. Where it doesn't look nice and smooth to walk, but that's the trail. Don't go that way where it looks nice and smooth to the nice little trail. Because <laughs> we were on this part at the beginning. Looking so cool. The dead trees. Did we pass the hobbit tree? Uh, we're coming up on it, I think. A little hobbit tree. I think it's back farther. Mm -hmm. Th that tree. That tree has seen better days. This tree's interesting too. The one right behind you. That one right there? No, look. Right well, here. oh, right. Well, that's a huge look at that. That's like a cottonwood. A couple of tips if you come back on this trail, wear good shoes, bring lots of water, sunscreen, hat, and be ready to get in the water. Maybe bring a towel or wear your swimsuit on the way. Change your shoes. Wow, look at that thing. Oh, yeah. That, these are big ones. These are well, because the they're fed from the the creek. So that's their water source. All right, trail. Keep and keep your eyes open for wild critters. Oh yeah, there's the hobbit tree. The hobbit tree. And we're almost back to the parking area. Now some of this is like shrub oak. Oh, is that what it is? Shrub oak, cottonwood. Um, once in a while, some mesquite. Or like the little junipers. See, like these big ones with the white trunks. I think these are cottonwoods. That one hasn't made up his mind whether it's gonna fall down or stand up. Uh, there's another big cotton head. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty, wow. and those would be pretty when the weather starts cooling down because it'll change color. That one's gonna fall over. <laughs> 